Hey, this is Brandon Jones, and I'm recording another exclusive screencast for Web Design Tets. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at batch processing in Adobe Fireworks. Uh, specifically, we're going to be looking at whether or not we get file savings or file size savings uh, versus doing the same thing in Photoshop. Now, in full disclosure, uh, I've been designing for almost 10 years on the web. Um, it's taken me a really long time to even consider using Fireworks. Uh, I think the main reason is because way back in the way back in the day, uh, you basically used to pick either Fireworks or Photoshop because Macromedia owned Fireworks and Adobe owned Photoshop, and you know they basically competed with one another. Well, Adobe owns both of them now, and anybody that's you know halfway logical would have to assume that there's got to be a reason that Adobe is keeping the Fireworks uh, software along in their suite. Uh, they're even featuring it in their web design suite and. Uh, frankly, it does a couple uh, really cool new things. I'll be honest, I don't think that it's ever going to uh, replace Photoshop in my mind. I'm still going to be using Photoshop a lot for web design, but there are some things that Fireworks does that every web designer should know about. And uh, one of those things is batch processing. Um, now, the first thing to kind of explain here is that batch processing in Photoshop has always been a pretty clunky process. Um, I don't really know why. It's just overly complicated. What Fireworks does is a lot simpler. So let's go ahead and dive into the process. Now, one thing to note here is everything that I'm doing here, I'm doing for the first time. So we're going to be basically taking the folder of Photoshop files. Uh, these are all files that are JPEGs. Uh, there's 40, no, there's 75 of them here. Um, and the file size here is 5.23 uh, megabytes. And we're going to run an experiment and we're going to see if uh, when we do batch processing on these, if we get file size savings in Fireworks as opposed to the original files in Photoshop. Now, obviously there's going to be a little bit of a reduction anytime you save a JPEG twice, the size goes down just a little bit. Um, what we're looking for is something significant. And I think anything significant would be like over 10%. So uh, we're going to run this experiment and see how it goes. So let's dive in. We're going to hit file, go down to batch process. And we're in this tutorial. Now, these are all images from a tutorial that we're actually publishing on Web Design Tets. Uh, so this is all stuff that you're going to see on the site later on. Um, I'm going to hit Next. Now, when you're in Fireworks, there's a couple different options that you have uh, for batch processing. You can automatically scale and crop things. You can find and replace text. Uh, there's basically a bunch of different stuff that you can do. Um, I'm sure there's stuff that I haven't even discovered at this point. What we're going to be doing today is export, right? So we're going to click export and hit add. Once we've hit export, we're going to go down and we're going to set the settings. Uh, we're going to start with JPEG better quality. Uh, obviously, there's other options that you can use here. Uh, then I'm going to hit edit because I want to tinker with things a little bit. I want 85%. I don't want 80. Um, it's just something that we do on Web Design Tuts. We like it at 85. Uh, obviously, the preview is invisible because we selected a lot of files. It's not just using one. I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to hit next and I'm going to hit batch. Uh, now I'm going to hit pause for a moment because it's going to process these and it's going to probably take about, you know, 30 seconds or so. And, uh, well, that's boring to watch. So let's hit pause until we're done. All right. And we're back. Uh, now that took probably closer to 10 seconds. Uh, it's actually really quick. Um, but that said, it was boring to watch. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive back in here. So, 74 74 files have processed. That's great. Um, let's go and take a look at them. Now, I'm going to open up that same folder. The first thing you're going to notice is that Fireworks creates a folder of your original files. So you have all of the files that you had before. They're just hosted in this other folder. You can always go back to them. You've never lost them. That's cool. Uh, the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to grab all the files. We're going to right click. We're going to hit the properties button. This is in Windows. And we're going to look and we're going to see that we now have 3.16 megabytes. Um, that's a pretty huge savings. So let's just do the math here really quickly. Um, I'm going to do 3.16 divided by 5.23. And we're going to notice we are now at 60% of the original file size. That means there's 40%. If you were trying to lose weight or something and you lost 40% of your initial weight, that would be massive. So the big deal here for web designers is that you can quickly run a batch process on all the JPEG files on you know uh, your website and it'll go a lot faster. So hope you guys enjoyed the quick tip and uh, hope you guys have a good week. Thanks a lot. Bye.